I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Justice the Truth, for this story. Well, Susan Smith is back in the news again, y'all. Guess what she's trying to do? She is trying to arrange to go to the grave site of the children that she murdered and then tried to pin on a black man. And she is also still trying to get a family member to take her in because she is up for parole in 2024. And so far, her family members, they ain't having it. They don't want her. So that is the condition of her parole. If she can't get taken in by family, they can't release her. Mm -mm -mm. Susan, your own family done turned on you. They don't want nothing to do with you, and they certainly don't want her out of jail. So let's get to it. Susan Smith in jail for killing her two sons want to visit their graves to give herself closure. This is what one of her relatives are saying. And you remember she had two sons. One son was named Michael, the other son, Alex, who would have been grown men. You know, they would have been grown men by now. Susan Smith, who is serving a life sentence for the 1994 murders of her two children, has a plan if she is successful in the next year bid parole she wants to visit the grave site of her two sons mm, mm, mm. she got a lot of nerve don't she she said she's never been there and says one of her relatives who is in touch with smith behind bars she feels like going there so she can feel closure for herself. Smith was 22 when she let her car roll in John D. Long Lake with her two sons. Michael, three, and Alex, 14 months, were still strapped into their seats. Wow. After she falsely told cops that a black man had carjacked her, the case became international news, making Smith one of the most notorious inmates in South Carolina history. Wow. I remember that, and I, I showed y'all the composite that they came out with. I was like, that doesn't even look like a real person. <laughs> She made she made them draw up a stereotype. I mean, for real. I mean, it was crazy. A jury convicted Smith of two counts of first degree murder in 1995. She was sentenced to life with the possibility of parole in 30 years. It's hard to believe that was 30 years ago. So she will first be eligible for parole next year. The messenger has learned that she plans to attend a hearing to request release. Her ex-husband, David Smith, opposes her parole and is planning to file an affidavit urging the parole board to keep her behind bars. I bet you he is. But not everyone is happy with her plans to visit the gravesite. A relative of David Smith says that it is an outrage to expect her to pay her respects to the boys that she murdered. They would be grown men with families of their own by now, she said. Smith, a relative. This is uh, her husband's relative. I mean, I'm sorry, Susan Smith's relative said. She and she took their entire life from them, and now she wants to go visit them. It's ridiculous. You know what I think she's doing, y'all? I think she's doing it for attention. I do. I, I think she's doing it for attention. If she goes to that grave site, you know the media is going to follow her there. They're going to put it all on TV that she went to visit 
the grave site and she going to sit there hooping and hollering and crying. You know, I, I really think she's doing it for publicity. That's my opinion. You know, um, so Susan Smith has long insisted that she was mentally ill when she killed her children, but that she wasn't a bad mom. Okay, if you say so, Susan. I am not the monster society think I am, she wrote in a letter to the state newspaper in 2015. I am far from it. Something went wrong that night. I was not myself. I was a good mother and I loved my boys. The thing that hurts me the most is that people think I hurt my children in order to be with a man she continued actually you did actually you did we remember that story so this is far from the truth there was no motive as it was not even a planned event i was not in my right mind smith's parole hearing is november 4th 2024 well I tell you what, the way it looks for her right now, look like she's going to be in there because her relatives are not stepping up, y'all. Even this relative that had this conversation with her where she said she wanted to visit the uh, grave site, that relative is not volunteering to take her in. They don't want her. They want her to stay right where she is behind bars. So I'm sure it'll be coming out in the story as it gets closer to her parole because this was such a big story back in 1994. I certainly remember it. And I know many of you remember the story too. And even if you weren't around, you probably heard about it. Y'all, I hope Susan never gets out, you know? And the fact that she tried to put this crime on a black man and just think if they would have listened to her you probably would have had an innocent black man behind bars by now over a murder he did not commit that seems to be the story of our lives when it comes down to prison in america please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.